it's Judy and welcome to another reading vlog. So this is probably going to be, yes again, another uneventful vlog simply because I'm still in self-isolation. I can't leave my house and I'm just not doing anything. So yeah. And today is the 14th of April and it is Tuesday. So recent updates, I finished three books recently. I read this um, in my last reading vlog but totally forgot to mention that I'd finished it. Um, so I finished The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. I gave this four and a half stars or four stars, I can't remember which exactly, um, but it was really really good. It's a reimagining of The Jungle Book and Les Mis and it takes place in Paris. Um, I think it's in the 18th century. I've talked about this already in my last vlog what it's about so if you head to that vlog which I'll link down below, um, you can find out what it's about but i will also link my review for this book down below because i have reviewed it um this comes out in june and it was really good then i finally finished illuminate by amy kaufman and jay Kristoff. i think i gave this two stars i just did not enjoy it i love the ai in it aiden i really really liked that character and the last 200 pages were really good but the rest of the book i did not like i didn't really understand which ship was which, who was good, who was bad. I didn't really know much about either of the main characters, um, like literally hardly anything about them. I didn't get a sense of like their personalities really, um, or anything. The relationship thing was really forced, that's another thing I didn't like. There was lots of things to do with coding and technical things that I didn't understand in here which made it difficult to then kind of understand how it fitted into the story and I think I did ultimately have an issue with the format of this book. Yeah, did not enjoy this, didn't think it was very well done. I know a lot of people do love this, I just personally didn't. Um, I'm still going to read the trilogy though because I already have them so I may as well read them. Um, but yeah, I gave this two stars, it just wasn't it for me. The other book that I've read recently is The House Without Windows and this is by Barbara um, New Newhall Fillet, uh, Follett, I don't know, but yeah, it's by her, um, but this is like a newer edition which has illustrations I think from Jackie Morris as well as some writing. Um, so basically this book was written in 1914 by a girl called Barbara and she was 12 years old when this was published but I think she originally wrote it when she was 9. And this is an incredibly well written book for a 12 year old, absolutely amazing. I cannot believe a 12 year old wrote this. It starts with a little kind of brief introduction about the original author um, from Jackie Morris. This is a book that's very atmospheric, it paints a very vivid image in your head and it's kind of about a young child being lost in nature and becoming wild and free and just loving nature and it's just really really nice and I absolutely loved it. I gave it four and a half stars. I did really really love it. It's an absolutely beautiful book and I would recommend people reading this if you're looking for something nice and different to read. I wouldn't usually read this but yeah I really really enjoyed it. So those are the three books I've finished at the moment. I'm currently reading Gemini. Still only 32 pages in. I haven't read any more since like five days ago because I really just don't really want to read it. But I've heard that this is better than the first book. I just don't have high hopes for it. But I might listen to the audio. Still reading the Amelia Fang book, um, but I'm only, I haven't made much progress with this. I'm on page 41. Um, I could read it in one sitting, I've just not done that. <laughs> and then I've started reading um, this poetry book, which is called Nocturnal. Just have some of the ones I actually like. And I'm like 60 pages into this. And I'm still listening to the audiobook for City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. I listened to um, a few hours of it yesterday. And I'm now on page 341 of this. Um, so I'm almost finished. I don't have much left. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I just still don't like Clary and Jace. So, and I don't really like Simon either. So yeah it's really hard to love a book when you don't like the main characters almost finished that so hopefully i can finish that maybe today and that's pretty much all my current reads at the moment i don't really have any other reading updates i'm probably just gonna have a really chilled day today i'm really really tired because i couldn't sleep last night and then i got up super early because i wanted to get ready um because i went on to um my honors live stream um she did like a book sleepover thing um so if that's up anywhere i'll link it down below i did that for a a couple of hours this morning and it was really really fun um but i'm really 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 tired so i don't even know if i will read today no more reading updates that's pretty much everything i painted my bedroom wall finally and sort of redecorated my room so i'll just show you quickly 
what it looks like now. So excuse the mess on my bed, but this is it here. So my painting is up on the wall and then I have all my little bits and pieces here which look really cute. Um, so yeah, my wall is blue now and I have my lovely painting there and my new lamp. I like it. It looks nice. Including this clip now because I just wanted to say, because uh, I've already started editing some of this vlog, I look and sound so weird in the intro to this vlog, but it was literally because I was super tired and the sun was in my eyes and I had a really bad headache, so that's why. <laughs> Hi, hello. So, a little reading update. So, I might have already mentioned these earlier in the vlog, but I'm gonna mention them again. So I finished these um, yesterday and the day before. This one I finished, which is a poetry book and this is called Nocturnal. This is by Wilder. I've spoken about this in a few vlogs now. I really enjoyed this, some really good poetry in here. I've tabbed all the poems that I really, really like so I can go back to them. Um, but I gave this four stars and it was a really nice read. Then I finished a middle grade. So I finished reading Amelia Fang, which was on my TBR. So I'm really glad that I read it. I love this. It was so good and so cute. And I'm definitely going to read the rest of the series. I gave this five stars and yeah, I cannot wait until I'm back selling books. And I can recommend this to young readers again because it's just such a fun and cute story. And yeah, Squashy is just adorable. So yeah, five stars. I listened to most of this on audio, but I ended up reading reading the last like 50 pages or so of it physically so that is a city of ashes by cassandra claire which is the second book in the mortal instrument series um i gave this i want to say three stars i think or maybe three and a half i can't remember around that mark um i enjoyed this a lot more than the first one i'm quite looking forward to going on to the third book enjoyed this one a lot more than the first i'm glad that i finished that because that was also on my tbr and then this is another one that was on my tbr so this is a graphic novel so this is wonder woman warbringer so this is based off the lee bardugo book but this is adapted by louise simonson um, or Simonson. I really, really, really love this. This was so good. It's made me even more excited to read the actual book because I haven't. I gave this five stars. Like, if you like graphic novels or you like Wonder Woman or you're just looking for a really good graphic novel, if you've not read one before, I'd highly recommend this. This is so easy to follow and the story is amazing. It's so entertaining. I read this in one sitting and I absolutely loved it. And yeah, I just cannot wait to read the actual book now that this is based on um but yeah five stars so what i'm actually reading at the moment i have made no progress on gemini i think i'm gonna not read it for a while because i'm just not in the mood and i don't really want to read it if i'm honest but i want i want to because i have the book if that makes sense i'm not reading it at the moment i started this book yesterday so i'm currently reading song of achilles by madeline miller so i am 50 pages into this and I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, 50 pages is such a small portion of this book, but it feels like I've read like 100 or 150 pages because I don't know, I think it's something about the way it's written. I don't know. It just feels like you're reading a lot more than you actually are. I've read 50 pages so far and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so this has um, kind of Greek gods and mythology and princes and kings and all that kind of stuff in it. I love anything to do with like Greek mythology and the gods and things like that. So I thought it'd be quite fun to read and I got it recently so yeah I'm 50 pages in and I'm really enjoying it. I started reading um Voyage not reading I started listening to Voyager by Diana Gabaldon which is the third book in the Outlander series so I'm only on chapter one I've only listened to 31 minutes so yeah not a lot it's pretty much all my reading updates and this just arrived today which is the collector's edition of the chain of gold um book so this is the obviously the chain of gold box from fairy loot and i'm just about to film an unboxing for it yeah i'm gonna film that in a minute um haven't really done anything today except for read a little bit i've had a sort of productive day i mean i didn't get up till super late I don't know about anybody else but whenever i sleep in i get extremely bad headaches and for some reason i just keep sleeping in every day and my sleeping pattern's just everywhere but back to the point um i haven't really done much today i wasted half a day in bed and then i lay in the sun and i read some of song of achilles and then did my car insurance did my car tax lovely fun stuff um and that's pretty much all i've done all day my eyelashes are all falling out and it's just not good but yeah that is all the updates i kind of have i'm gonna film my unboxing video and then i think i'm just gonna get in bed and read for the rest of the night or maybe watch a movie 
today is Friday the 17th, I think, of April. Yeah, so it's Friday the 17th. So I filmed my Chain of Gold Collector's Edition unboxing and now I'm just editing a video that I've been meaning to edit for forever. Um, I filmed this like so long ago, like a month ago, and I still haven't edited it. So yeah, I'm editing my birthday book haul and I just cannot help but laugh at some of the faces that I make. Like, why do I do this? I do want to get some reading done, so I think I might take a break from editing, go make a cup of tea and then come up and read some more of my book. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so can any other YouTuber or booktuber or whatever relate? You wear something okay on the top, but it's always pajamas on the bottom. <laughs> Fuzzy socks and sliders. We love that. <laughs> Today is the 29th of April. The last time I probably updated this vlog was probably the start of April, so yeah, not great. You probably will have already watched a little segment of loads of footage from the past weeks, well, week or two. What have I been up to? Because I haven't vlogged. Um, I just have not been feeling like vlogging and I just, yeah, I just haven't. Um, so I thought I'd include this little clip at the end. So I've just filmed my April wrap up on my May TBR. I finished my reread of Akamath, which is my fave and I love it and obviously gave it five stars. I didn't have any updates because obviously I haven't been doing anything except staying in my room. Um, 
yeah i hit 3k subscribers which is crazy and I'm, i think i'm almost at three three and a half now three i think i am at three and a half now which is crazy so thank you all so much for that i don't really have any updates i have this that i got on ebay the other day so i haven't read this book yet this is the book of life which is the third book in the discovery of witches um trilogy and the reason i picked this up and i want to show you guys this is because it is signed so yeah i'm so happy that i have this in my possession and i just want to show you guys this and i also picked up this edition or should have night because it was super cheap i've got lots of new books recently like this lockdown has been very bad for my bank account i have picked up the winner's curse um and i picked up the selection also for anyone who has watched my um chain of gold unboxing and i put in the comments that i'd smashed the mortal cup which i did literally i was editing the video and then i literally walked past my bookshelf and it just fell off and smashed to pieces so yeah that wasn't fun but some kind person on twitter got in touch with me and said they i'm very careful now i'm holding this very very tightly because i don't want to drop it um but she messaged me and said i could buy hairs from her um all the way from the netherlands so yeah i have a replacement so thank you so much <laughs> i'm so scared it's gonna smash <laughs> i will actually update you guys on this um because i haven't included this in my wrap up but i've still got a day left of the month so i'm hoping to finish these um in a april still but they won't be in my wrap up but i'm still reading um song of achilles so i'm now on page 224 of this so i am well over halfway i have like 150 pages left of this or something i'm loving this book it's so good like it's so different to what i'd normally read but i'm loving it like it's just great and i love the historic element to it and like the greek mythology and stuff like i just love it it's so good um so i'm hoping to finish this tomorrow but we'll see and then i've also been reading a graphic novel so this is pride and prejudice produced by marvel but obviously it's the jane austen adaptation where i'm up to and the illustrations are really cool for this um, i'm not that far in i've not read an awful lot of it um but hopefully i can finish this because graphic novels are quite quick and i'm loving this it's so good i got this on amazon because i don't think it's in print anymore i just happened upon it um and it was like 18 pounds battery's about to die so i'm going to quickly wrap this vlog up so i'm sorry that it hasn't been the best vlog but i just haven't vlogged but i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and you are all staying safe and well and reading lots of lovely books and yeah, my camera's gonna die, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye!